Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Coding Jets, and welcome to your 10th part of the series called Creating or Building a Professional Website, uh, just like Airbnb.com. So, basically, what we're doing is we're looking at uh, Airbnb.com and we're looking at the style, not the code, and we are trying to recreate it and basically exactly to create it exactly the same. Now, I gotta say we are pretty close actually I mean like this over here changes like every day so I can't really like the day I created it it was like this but yeah um, we're really close to the real um, airbnb.com itself so in this uh, video I'm gonna try and create this our community div um, and the footer maybe in the next video but basically, I want to apologize for the lag of videos lately, especially on these series, because it's like been like three weeks since I've uploaded on these series. But it's just that, um, like lately, I've been I've been getting a lot of um, positive comments about it. But before, it was just like nobody is watching them. So basically, my idea for my channel, and I hope you guys approve. Is that I'll be creating series like on um, how to build professional and responsive websites um, and if you have any questions I'll make tutorials on these questions and I'm gonna answer them in these tutorials so basically it's gonna be like a community in which when you have a question I make a tutorial on it and I'm gonna try and explain it um, the easiest way possible but enough um, talking, I'm gonna, as you can see, I actually promised that um, I will change the pictures, and I did, and I actually finished this. So basically, last time it was up to here, and now I just basically copied the whole code and pasted it again. With the only difference is that uh, this isn't aligned on the left, it's on, aligned on the right, but basically it's the same thing. I showed you the code for the slider, now... I'm not really sure that I gave you the code, so if you want the code, just um, comment down below and I'll copy, I'll paste it in the comments. But yeah, so I've changed the pictures, and I want to say one thing: we're not creating these belong anywhere, blah blah blah, and stuff like that, because they um, are made with JavaScript. And we did make this a uh, slider with JavaScript, but I didn't explain it. And I'm gonna have to explain the JavaScript if I, if we create this. So I'm just gonna pass by it, like it's none of my business. And I'm just gonna act like it's already done. So yeah, this is our slider, and now we're gonna create this over here, our community. So um. I am not gonna go in the details like these little divs up here. I'm just gonna create the whole div and I'm not even gonna put in the text. I'm just gonna put in the image since I I know you guys know how to create them. I know you do because it's really easy so it's just gonna be like un unnecessary. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go to my HTML and this is where the slide container ends. So I'm gonna create a new div and I'm gonna give it an ID of commu hold on a second. Was it community? That yeah, was community. Community div. So I'm gonna go to CSS and write pound sign. I think this is the pound sign, I'm not sure. I mean if I'm mistaken, please correct me in the comments. Uh alright. Like this. So now I'm gonna give it a width of hmm. You know what? I'm gonna give it a width of one hundred percent. Width one hundred percent. Man, I might be mistaken here, but actually I'm gonna give a position of absolute as well. Position absolute. And a height of 800 pixels. I'm gonna give it a background color of red so I can see where it is. So let's see this. Cool. So now I'm gonna do a top of 20 pixels. No, 20x 20 pixels. And I'm pretty sure that. What the hell? Oh! Um, <laughs> my bad. Um, margin top 20 pixels. 
I'm really sure if it's gonna work. It did. Is it enough? It ain't. Um, it ain't enough. So maybe I'm gonna do 50 pixels. Oh man. Um, 50 pixels. No, not really. 80 pixels. That should be enough. Um, okay, 70, 70. Yeah, perfect. Alright, so I'm gonna leave it red, and I mean, I think I kind of. Okay, I'm gonna change the height to 600 pixels. Just like this. Um, actually, hold on. It's up to here. So, no. 500. Alright, this should be good enough. So now I'm gonna create a new. Uh, I'm gonna create a new div. And I'm gonna make things a little bit more complicated than they should, but it's because I'm not really sure how I'm gonna style it right now. So I'm, in just in case, I'm gonna create a div. I'm gonna call it our um, our community. So just community text. And by the way, I'm really tired. I have a lot of homework. I have to do a presentation, and I'm just kind of like not typing so fast and talking a little bit more slowly and not slowly but a little more tired um but yeah hope you guys understand so community text community text and my head is just like exploding right now i'm gonna give it a position of absolute by the way position absolute is my new favorite position since it's really easy to um align I mean, position relative, it's like really hard. Like, if you wanted to align it at the center, it's hard. If you want to align it like 10 pixels from the top, it's really hard. So, position absolute, my favorite position yet, because you can just do top 10 pixels and you're done. Um, okay. So, I'm going to give it a width of 100 and 150 pixels. Height, maybe 50 pixels. Background. Color, I'm gonna give it a green so it's kind of like Christmassy. Um, nah, I think it's a little bit small, so I'm gonna give it a width of 300 pixels and a height of. Yeah, the height is maybe just 70. No, no, no. Uh, 60, 60. Yeah, perfect. So now. This is how we align things in the center with position absolute. So we do a left of 50%. And then we do a margin left, a minus, and, and then I go to the width and I see that it's 300 pixels. So I'm going to divide 300 by 2 and that's 150 pixels. So um, we do left 50 pixels and margin left, a minus, the half of uh, width. I mean negative, the half of the width. And the same for the for the um, uh, horizontal, I mean vertical alignment in the center. So you're just gonna do top fifty percent margin top uh, negative the half of the height. So it's gonna be negative uh, thirty pixels. So as you can see, it's exactly in the center. And I'm just gonna show you from the top as also fifty percent and margin top negative thirty pixels since it's the half of sixty pixels. And as you can see, it's in the center. All right. And it's really easy to style, trust me. And with position relative, it's a little bit more harder. So, okay, so now I'm going to create a P inside. I'm going to call it R community. But is it capitalized like this now? Ain't capitalized. Perfect, and this looks like a zero. Huh. Alright. Uh, so now we're gonna style it. So, community text P. Um, community text P. Font family is gonna be sans serif. I saw that it's bold, so it's gonna be font weight bold. Uh, color is going to be gray and um, 
Yeah, uh, it's like the, t the color of the text right here, so I hope I can find it. Um, hmm. Let's see. I haven't really recorded in such a while, so I kind of forgot here. Um, oh, there it is. So there we go. And a hashtag in front. And okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna align it in the center. So text align center. I'm gonna change the font size to 40 pixels. Maybe it's a little bit too big. Uh, you know what? I've always wanted to try with 40 points. Yeah, that's big. So I'm gonna do 30 pixels. And is it big enough? It is. So now I'm gonna have to. You know what? I have an idea. Actually, no. I'm just gonna put a margin. Margin top is zero. Perfect. So now, actually, I think I can like change the height to like, 40 pixels, but I'm not really sure. Maybe even 30. No, no, no. 30 is gonna be way too small. Yeah. I'm just gonna change it to 40. Perfect. So now I'm gonna remove the background color. Or no, I'm not actually yet. I'm not gonna remove it yet. So now there, there are four divs. I mean, there might be tables, but I'm gonna form them into a div. Uh, so basically, this is gonna be uh, okay, okay. I got it. I know how I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna create a new div inside, and I'm gonna give it an ID of community cards. So the cards go in. Community cards and this CSS file is like huge. I mean, I never do. I like the maximum of the file should be in my case is like 200 300 lines. And then I just create a new one and I link it, and it's way easier to um, do it like that. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it like this. So, community cards was it like that? Community cards, yeah. Um, and I don't know why, but I, I always love to add uh, the little div uh, at the end. I don't know really why. So, okay, I'm gonna give this a position of absolute, of course. Position absolute. Although it might, might not be like the right thing to do, but there's like an HTML that says there's like no right and wrong thing. It's basically however you want it to do. Like, as soon as it works, it's it's perfect. I mean, yeah. So I'm gonna give it a width of 800 pixels, a height of um, 500. No, no, no. Um, I'm gonna change the height to 600, 500, and I'm gonna change this to 400 pixels, and I'm gonna give it a background background uh, color of yellow and see I told you that I'm really sleepy I made like 10 gram um, mistakes here so now I'm gonna give it um now see this is what's easy in position absolute with position relative to align in the bottom you're gonna have to give it a margin top of like 100 pixels but here I just do top zero and like I mean no no not top not top I meant bottom um and for position absolute it doesn't always have to be in a in positioned in a relatively div because I like um this actually no I can't really show you yet because that's a future tutorial but um basically um. I uh, I created a big div just like this one, and I gave it a position of absolute, and it worked perfectly. I created like tons of other divs inside, and they worked perfectly. So, I think it's like nonsense that everyone's like, oh, to to give something position absolute has to be inside of uh, something that is position position relative. No, no, no. Don't listen to that. I've tested it out on many monitors, uh, many monitors. 
on my MacBook, on my PC, on my other lap, I mean on my phone, on my sister's laptop, and yeah. So now I'm gonna position it uh, in the center, so left 50%. By the way, it's gonna be really cool if in like CSS 4, they had like um, a line left, I mean, not a line, or like a line center, it's gonna align it in the center. It's gonna be really useful, in my opinion. So, margin left, min oh, negative 400 pixels, and since, since uh, 800 divided by 2 is 400. So, there we go. And uh, that's a little bit too small, so I'm gonna have to create a uh, 900 width and 450 here. Mm. Oh, what? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm really afraid that if I create a bigger div like these on smaller screens are gonna look like really weird. Like, really, really weird. I mean, they do shrink when I change the size. But still. Uh, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just going to do this. Um. Airbnb .com. You know what? I think this is gonna be it for the tutorials, and it's like all already like what almost twenty minutes. But I'm gonna try and figure it out how to do it. Like so, it's not too big, but it's not too small. So yeah, basically, we I just in this tutorial just explained what I what was going on, and there's gonna be definitely a new tutorial tomorrow. So don't worry, and um, yeah, so. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to slap that like button below. And if you have any questions, make sure to comment them, um, to leave them down in the comment section below. And also, if you want to see something from me, also leave it in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure teaching you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.